This is the ABS Freestyle Kit Car and we've been building it for some time now. Almost complete, uh, but I'm having a problem with the starter. When I turn the key, there's absolutely nothing. There is no sound from the starter at all. So I suspect that the starter or the solenoid is faulty. So I'm going to take it off and show you how to do a bench test of a starter. Now I've taken the starter off the car and uh, just to let you see the terminals, this is where the supply from the battery will come onto the solenoid, the solenoid being this part here. This terminal here is connects to the ignition switch on the dashboard. So when you turn the ignition key, it sends a message down this terminal into the solenoid to send current down to this terminal here, which feeds, feeds the supply into the starter itself and turns it and I'll make some connections and let you see how to test the solenoid. Now the connections I've made is I have a battery here from the car and I've run a line from the negative side of the battery to the body of the starter. I've got a wire from the positive side of the battery onto the top terminal of the solenoid which is the one that would be fed normally from the battery and I have another wire onto this terminal here which is the terminal that runs to the ignition switch and to test the solenoid you can use this wire just to touch the battery positive terminal and there's no reaction at all which indicates there's a problem with the solenoid. Now this test I'm going to run is just to make sure that the starter itself is working so I've still got the earth lead from the battery onto the body of the starter but this time I've connected a wire from the bottom lead on the solenoid which is the one that feeds into the starter and I'm going to attach that br very briefly onto the battery and you should hear the starter turn over so the fact the starter turns over proves that the starter's okay and the problems with the solenoid which will need to be renewed so to remove the solenoid from the starter itself undo the bottom terminal from the solenoid which feeds into the starter and also the two small bolts on the end of the solenoid around here remove both those and remove the, start, the solenoid from the starter and the other. Now as you remove the solenoid there's a piston which runs inside the solenoid in this tube here which will be caught on the operating arm and just lift it off to take that away from the starter itself and then it's ready to fit the new solenoid. This is a new solenoid which I'm about to fit. The terminals on the back are exactly the same as the one which I've taken off. And the easy way to fit that is to pull the plunger out and hook it onto the operating arm inside the starter. Then feed that into the solenoid, making sure that you have the smaller, lower terminal to the bottom. From there, these small bolts go back in. Tighten them up, but don't over tighten. 
then the connections on the back are remade, the smaller, smaller one going on to the bottom and then I'll connect up the battery and try it with, with those on. So I'll put the wires back on. That's the negative feed from the battery onto the body of the starter. The feed wire from the positive side of the battery to the top terminal and I've reconnected the small terminal on the right hand side of the solenoid. And as I strike it onto the battery positive, the starter should turn and the, the arm to operate the connecting gear will throw through the plunger at the back. So we'll give it a try. And you can hear that working perfectly. Also the arm at the back operates which throws the cog wheel out in to catch the ring gear. So the starter is now ready to fit back onto the vehicle.